Alright, I'm gonna fly a T Rex 450 again. Just the canopy a little bit. A little bit too much vibration and it's it's kicking the gyro around with the tails walking a little bit. I just need to check the wires and batteries and stuff, make sure everything's secure. You don't want too much vibration or it can really make things difficult. Try to strap these batteries in a little tighter and straighter. These are the magnetic mount, it's just not quite as, I don't know, locked down, I guess, as it could be if it was like actual latches or something that snapped it down hard. That canopy starts vibrating at all, though, or if the blades aren't perfectly balanced, it can start some vibration. Let me reinitialize that gyro, too. It's set on some steady ground first, though. Can't be moving at all. It's pretty level. Let's try this again. Yeah, I saw that. Somebody drove out here. I don't know why they would do that. Tail's still walking a little bit. Not bad like it was earlier. Haven't really practiced over here, so it doesn't look like there's any hazards around. I'm used to flying at home where I've got long.
we might want to back up just a little bit in case I need to make a set down on the pad or something like that for something. But I'm going to back up with you a little bit. I just want to know how much room I've got. It's a lot harder to keep orientation on these smaller helicopters like that. If I get up too high, it's hard to see which way my blades are angled. And if I get over there towards the sunny side, my eyes, I'm not wearing my shades, so. I'm trying to give you a photo op. You see the same thing goes with these as it does for the planes. If you get disoriented or something happens, don't freak out. Try to correct it. Just stay focused. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, you know? Just do your best and sometimes you can minimize the damage. Like I did when I stalled in that starlet a minute ago. See, I think I'm gonna fly this FPV. I think I'd be fine flying this FPV. I think helicopters are a lot easier to control if you're in the cockpit. Yeah. A lot easier to keep your orientation anyway. The setup is key on the helis too, man. You gotta get them, everything's gotta be balanced and your vibration minimized. A lot more critical to a, than an airplane to be balanced right. This one's still a little bit tail heavy. I really need to invest invest in a better gyro system. I've got a really cheapy little gyro that's on here now. If I had a better gyro, I'd have a lot more stability. Photo up. Let me come in close, just a second. I just got it to be nice and easy when I come in close. I don't want to run into this. Let me 
try to get it sit still for you. Time to set her down. Fly that little twin star over there. Yeah. Okay.